scrappers, when you want to prepare your catalytic converters for scrap, we want to show you a couple of tips and ideas on what to do. Now, in front of me, I have four different examples. This is a catalytic converter that has been properly cut. Why has it been properly cut? You can see a clear cut on this side, which allows the scrap yard to see the material inside. On this, you flip it over, another clear cut you can see the material in here as well. This allows the scrap yard to know that this is a full catalytic converter. Now, many people have asked this question before. Tom, should I take the material out of the cats and I can't say it louder? No. No, 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 no. Never take the inside catalysts out of the catalytic converters. That's called the honeycomb. Never take the honeycomb out. Here's an example of a customer that sent us loose honeycomb. We bought this on a per pound basis through rrcats.com because we don't know what it came off of. And even if the customer told us, oh, it came off of a Chevy or a GM, I don't know that. We don't have the shell here, probably came out of a diesel filter because of the whiteness and color, so we can't buy it for anything other than per pound basis. Now another misconception about catalytic converters, here's another example, and there's an O2 sensor on it. Does the scrapyard require you to keep the O2 sensor on? No, 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 no. Take these O2 sensors off. You will not get paid for them if you leave them attached to the catalytic converter. Now, if you're selling to rrcats.com, they have different prices per pound for O2 sensors. So check that out so you can see what the prices are. And with a 10 pound minimum, they'll give you a free shipping label. But when you're selling this catalytic converter, things you want to do while it's cut correctly, you want to remove this O2 sensor. There's a link below so you can see the piece of equipment that you use to remove it, you want to use a reciprocating saw to give you a nice clean cut so you can see inside the catalytic converter not only on this side but on the other side. Lastly, there's serial numbers on many catalytic converters. Providing the scrapyard or rrcats.com with this serial number gives you a better, more accurate price at a higher value opposed to a generic catalytic converter if it didn't have it. Today, this might be worth $80 without the serial code, but with it, it's 110 bucks, making you more money. Scrappers, let us know what you think. Any other questions about catalytic converters? Comment below. Thanks for checking out this scrap video. For more exclusive scrap video content, please become a YouTube member of our channel today. Thank you and I'll scrap you later.